on the bank. That little thing right there. It looks like a watermelon. That's it. That's it. Damn, that's how it's done. <laughs> that's how it's done. The one and only legendary air gun one. The Maxime. My favorite gun made by Gamble. They have them in stock over here if you guys are interested. So, sweet. Real quick. Want to give a huge shout out to Pablo from Air Gun One for getting us right, guys. Your one stop shop for all your air gun needs. We came here, we didn't have to wait. We didn't have to, you know what I'm saying, guess if we're going to like the gun. We came in and we seen the guns in person. And guess what, guys? We're going home with them right now. Yeah! So stay tuned, guys. We're going to see you guys at the job. Yeah! What's going on, guys? It's your boy, the Iguana Man. We're back out here. Another Iguana removal. But this time, we have some friends. My friends, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Johan Sunset. Sunset Aquatics. How you doing, man? Heck yeah, heck yeah. And who might you be, my kind sir? Eric. Eric, okay. How you doing? AKA Ali. Ali. <laughs> Ali, Eric, we got Johan, and we're doing some iguana removal. But wait, there's more. As you guys can see, we have two air rifles today. What kind of gun you got, buddy? This is uh, the same one as that one. Ooh. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, those might be my favorite brake barrel air rifles. Yes, they are. You guys already know the Gamo Maxim Swarm 22 caliber air rifle. We got two of them. Yep. Double trouble for these iguanas. It is the ninjas getting happy. <laughs> it is kind of early, so we're not seeing too too much. But we will give you an update if we do see anything. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, stay tuned. Hang on. These two, these here are apple snails. Mm -hmm. These are also an invasive species. Oh, really? As you can see, they come up on here mm -hmm. and they lay these eggs. Yeah. These eggs, as they're ready, one by one drop into the water pull them out mm -hmm. and get rid of them take these and get rid of them and just squish them up okay yeah we're reloaded we got the 10 round mag ready to go here you go my friend pop that in she's right there you got a perfect shot right there you see her right on the bank that little thing right there it looks like a watermelon it's right there that's it that's it Damn, that's how it's done. That's how it's done. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> that's how it's done. One right there. Finish them off. There's another one right there. The one that I think. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Okay, we are on the other side. Hold on, young Iguana oh, Hunter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Approach with caution. If you're going to take them out, take them out. Come on now. That's it. I think, I think, I think that was dead right there. Ooh, careful here, Jen. Ninja, you got your feet ready? Yeah. All right, Johan, you good? Yeah, I got to load up. Okay. Be on the lookout, guys. We're in Iguana territory. Oh, look, what they, look what they're doing. Oh, look at this, bro. Look what they're doing. All right. Look. Iguanas take iguanas are out here digging holes, y'all. There's another hole right there. We didn't take that one out real quick. Nice. Nice, nice. Never mind. <laughs> So this is what they were doing out here, y'all. You guys were wondering, yeah. why were the iguanas here? We had no idea. We thought they were sunning, but it's still kind of cloudy out. One, but look what they were doing, guys. Two, three. Hey, real quick, want to show you guys something. Young male iguana. I don't know what he was doing. He was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. We got him at the, in the eye, too. Yeah, we caught him slipping, though, and that's that right there. But. You guys are seeing what's actually going on right here. All the iguanas were pregnant. Now they're getting ready to dig these holes, lay these nests, and uh, make new iguanas. So, Houston, it's safe to say we got a little bit of a problem. But not to worry, guys. We got our team today. We got Johan. We got oh my God, look at that huge one over there. Where? Right there, all the way at the end. We have to recover some iguanas over there. Oh, there he is. Where? Nice. 
Oh, it looks like you got a bunch of eggs on it. Oh, yeah. Is that the one I hit? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That was a good kill. Yeah, buddy. Can't there you wait. go. I can't wait to cook one of these puppies. Got you some iguana meat, and then you got you some iguana eggs, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, we spotted the giant female. We don't know if she's up. She's massive. Go, I'll, I'll, follow, I'll follow, backing you up, bro. Oh, shoot. All right. Oh, good shot. Good shot, bro. Whoa. Whoa. Here, do the honor, my friend. Close ranger. Close ranger. Just put it right on top of her. Right on top. Right on top. Right on top of her head. Put it right on her head. Yeah, yep. right, right there. There you yep. go. So we, there's no ricochet or anything. Great nice. job, man. That's some good stuff right there. We almost died. Ooh. Almost died. Look at this. What happened? Almost died. Oh my goodness. This is this is a serious problem out here, y'all. We're out here in probably about a, a couple couple feet of land right here, and there's multiple iguana nests, y'all. Yeah, this one, this one stopped. Stopped. This, stopped. this is the this is the mulch that the people are putting down here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of giving them a perfect bedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. You know. <laughs> Absolutely, man. That makes sense, dude. They don't have to. Do, it's nice and soft, and it's probably yeah. nice and insulated That's and stuff. It. I bet you if you dig down in some, I bet you, you know, that one was over here. Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're on top of this mulch here. Look at this. Look at that. That's where she's laying. I bet Holy you. crap. Look at this. Look at this. Dig it out. Let's see, let's see if she laid them. That iguana just popped up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was like a perfect hole for her. Wow. You see how warm it is in there? It's, yeah, it's yeah, warm. It's, it's got, actually warm. It's got like its own energy inside yeah, there with exactly. the moisture and the and the decom, uh, decomposing. decomposing. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what mulch does. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Kind of like how same thing like how alligators make this their This is dams, a mistake. Right? This is a mistake what they're doing here. They're thinking that they're getting free free mulch. This is, this is going to be a big problem. This is going to be a problem. You need to tell your customer to complain about this. Absolutely. Because that's that's what's happening. Absolutely, man. Yeah. We're basically inviting iguanas to Ex nest in here. Exactly. We're encouraging them alligators at this point. do the same thing. <laughs> alligators do the same thing. They'll find mulchy mulchy meshes of leaves. And they'll lay their eggs in it because it de it decomposes and it gets warm in there naturally. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Well, you know what? We took down these right here. So I think that's a good start. Oh, hell yeah. And Look we, at that one. And that's I think a big that one. one. She didn't lay her eggs yet. Look at them. Nope. She was about to. She was about to. She probably has 60. I'll tell you, you know, I think I see a little blue in there, but. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, yeah. She didn't get that deep. She was, they're just starting to yeah, dig that. They're just starting to yeah. dig the nest right yeah, now. I bet you I'll tell you what. We go down here. We'll find. Look, there's a whole bunch here, too. Big that one didn't lose his tail, huh? That's a straight up tail. Yeah, yeah it seems like all of them have uh, straight up tails. Which is interesting. That means nothing's really, you know, messing with them out here. Yeah. That means that the ninja ain't been out here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Good evening. I don't know how you saw that. <laughs> I just looked over there like I was looking at my mirror and I just see eyes looking back at me. And I realized it's a massive goanna. CJ uh, is in the back. We just... Egg juice. I think CJ just got sprayed with some egg juice. All right. I don't know what's going on, guys. I just know that we're trying to escape and leave and go get some lunch, but there's a giant goanna still at the job. So we can't just leave unfinished work, yo. We got to get this thing done. Yeah, let him use it. Let him use it. Okay, okay. Hurry up, CJ. We're gonna we're gonna lasso him. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, no. We're gonna we're gonna catch him live. Our boy Johan right here getting a little excited. That's a massive female right there. And she, we we invaded their breeding facility. We took out some other ones. Some of the smart ones escaped. But there's always that one that's just smarter than the rest. Did you let you know? And there she is right there. So we're gonna see if we can grab her. Yo, 
Got her. Got her. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. So rule number one when you're iguana snaring, never second guess if they're tired or not. All right. So we just snared her. She was probably out eating, sunning, so she's got a little energy. She can only exert so much energy at once. Wow. Boom. And that's it, huh? Yep. Just like that. Wow, that's a female. Yep, fatty. Started, she started uh, clawing her uh, her mouth because she didn't know what was happening. Now, can you get an infection if you get bit by one of these? Like uh, the, like the, like the mother from, lizards, like the monitor lizards? From, from their survivor? Yeah. No, we don't. I don't think anyone has that information yet, but I, I was well, bit the other day. Right. And I'm not dead yet. Right. Well, okay. Here's what, here's what, here's what. Any, any, if you take a bite from any kind of animal, there's always a chance from secondary infection. Right. Now, the initial bite obviously is going to heal, but, you know, that can get infected. You never know. You're, right. you're putting a, you know, you're getting bit by a, a foreign animal, you know? Right. Exactly. You never know what can happen. And sometimes what happens is if you get bit by a really strong iguana, his teeth, some of his teeth can actually break off in you. Yeah. Yeah. Like the python. Yep. And right. then you have to definitely get that out or guaranteed that's going to get infected. Well, you know? I got bit by a soft shell turtle 25 years ago. Yeah. And it's never healed. You see that? I see that. Oh, my goodness. Never healed. Doctors want to cut this off because I have no feeling here. Oh, man. You know? Really? Yeah. This never heals. And sometimes it festers up and I got to slice it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So they want to cut it. They want to cut it off from here up. You know? Yeah, yeah. They'll yeah. be calling me Stumpy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what time it is. Ain't that right, Ollie? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, another one in the bag. Oh, you guys want to get some lunch? Yes, I do. All right. All right, look at this guy one more time. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Fat Nin Ninja, you're the man. Thank you. Wow. All right, let's go. Let's go. You're like me, bro. I'd do the same thing.